How you doing, guys? Uh, I'm here to talk about um, using a Teradek cube alongside Wirecast. And while Wirecast can use its own encoder uh, using the cores and or GPU to do this, um, I want to do some testing using a Teradek cube alongside Wirecast. So you can use Wirecast as a video switcher and use a Teradek cube for um, the actual encoding. So um, if you use it uh, perhaps on a laptop or maybe on a lower spec computer, you can uh, make uh, the Teradek cube uh, encoder. Usually that's gonna be the highest processing is the actual encoding of the video sending out to whatever website and another use of the Teradek cube as well. So uh, we're gonna test um, and show you uh, some of the settings. And let's go ahead and lower this down. Now, actually right now we're in display settings in the uh, Mac desktop preferences for displays. Um, the Teradek cube actually shows as almost as a display. Now I've got two monitors set up on my Mac Pro 8 core. Uh, on the left is a Dell, and on the right is a Apple Cinema Display, 24 inch. And down here with the uh, HDMI out from a Sapphire HD 7950 graphic card. Um, actually, it's not the HDMI out, it's a uh, display port to HDMI to a Teradek, which is down here. So it is showing as its display device, which going into the Teradek. And then uh, you also got to make sure mirroring is set off because it initially went to mirroring mode as soon as, uh, which would be down here. So you want to make sure that is off. And um, so going back to uh, Wirecast, you're going to go to I believe uh, output external display out and you're going to click Teradek. So it does see it as a external monitor in a way. Uh, then once you do that, you can stream out and uh, we're also going to try to get some more settings. So we're going to pause it for right now. Okay. Uh, we, we also have the uh, Teradex or Terra central app open uh, that accesses the Teradek cube to change settings. This is the uh, Mac app uh, desktop version. And as you can see, it, it's uh, putting my video in from the uh, video card output sent from Wirecast into the Teradek cube. And then here showing you some more uh, inputs. Now this is uh, um, the web version here showing all my settings ready to go out to Ustream. So yes, um, you can, this is another way you can use the, uh, um, the Teradek cube, um, many different uses. And I, I just really wanted to test this out and it's working quite well. Now it's funny. I tried to use the HDMI port output into the Teradek cube while it did work. It was very spotty. I kept on losing video feed and it wouldn't allow me to log in as well to the Teradek cube using the Terra Central app and or the web version. Um, so, but now everything's working and a great way to use it. Now I'm not going to use it on my Mac Pro 8 core simply because um, it's so, if it, Wirecast is so inefficient, it uses about 10% when I'm uh, broadcasting out, but very interesting use of the uh, Teradek cube. 